In natural gas production, managing your gas pressure drop is critical. If mishandled, these pressure differences can jam up your system and cause downtime. I'm Jordan with Kimray, where we help energy producers solve their biggest control challenges. And in this video, we're gonna answer six questions about gas pressure drop. The first question we'll answer is, what is pressure drop across a valve? A pressure drop, or differential pressure, across a valve means that the media is flowing the normal direction, from upstream to downstream. If you didn't have a difference in pressure between upstream and downstream, in other words, if those pressures were equal, there would be no flow across the valve. Production fluid, be it oil or natural gas, naturally flows from high to low pressure. That's how the flow is determined in any kind of separation equipment or system. Our second question is, does pressure drop reduce flow rate? Pressure drop does affect flow rate, but does not always reduce it. An increase in pressure drop, or differential, equals more flow. A decrease in pressure drop, or differential, equals less flow. For example, a valve would be able to flow more with a 100-pound drop than if it had a 50-pound pressure drop. This is because there's more pressure in the flow media pushing on it to force it through the trim. Question three is related, and it is what is choked flow and is it bad? There comes a point if you're increasing the pressure drop by lowering the downstream pressure that you're not going to increase the flow rate. The fluid will reach its maximum velocity at the vena contracta, and after that point, it will enter a state called choked flow. The higher the pressure drop is, the more flow you can get across a given orifice size. If you want to increase the volume using the same valve and equipment you have, but you have it in choked flow, you won't be able to. This creates problems in your system because you can't pass the amount of volume you need. And depending on the application, you might be starving another piece of equipment that needs volume to operate correctly. Question four addresses this issue by asking, what is the solution to choked flow? To get your valve out of choked flow, you must decrease the pressure differential or increase the orifice size of the valve. If you are worried about not passing enough volume through the valve in choked flow, you need to increase your valve trim size or you can increase your upstream pressure. One important distinction you need to make, once you're in choked flow, Decreasing downstream pressure to increase the pressure differential doesn't do anything to increase the flow rate. In other words, when you're in choked flow, you can push more production fluid or gas through, but you can't pull more through. Another related question regarding pressure drop is how does partially closing a valve affect pressure drop? If you partially close a valve, upstream pressure may increase if it's not opening far enough to release the pressure. The last question for this video is which valve is best for dealing with high pressure drops? There are many variables that determine what your pressure drop is, including the application and the flow conditions the valve is being exposed to. That said, our cage-guided high pressure control valve can handle higher pressure drops than many valves because of its balanced trim. The flow through the cage-guided high pressure control valve comes from underneath the seat. The upstream pressure moves through the communication holes inside the piston. This equalizes the pressure on the top and the bottom of the piston. This means that the valve is balanced, so regardless of how large your pressure drop is, the valve can be opened or closed by a standard pilot supply gas pressure. To learn more, see our video, How to Operate High Pressure Control Valves. Comment below if you have any other questions about pressure drop, or to speak with an expert about your production challenges, contact our product applications and technical support team.